reports are emerging that Nikon is in the advanced stages of developing its first consumer mirrorless camera featuring a global shutter sensor, tentatively named the Nikon ZX. According to insider sources, this upcoming model is a high-speed variant of the renowned Nikon Z9, designed to compete directly with flagship sports and wildlife cameras like the Canon EOS R1, Canon R3, and Sony A9 III. If these rumors prove accurate, we could be on the verge of witnessing one of the most significant innovations in professional photography. The Nikon ZX is rumored to introduce cutting-edge technology that could redefine sports and wildlife photography. Nikon has been making significant strides in the mirrorless market, particularly with the Z9, which eliminated the mechanical shutter in favor of a fully electronic shutter. Now, with the alleged introduction of a global shutter sensor in the Nikon ZX, the company could be taking another groundbreaking step forward. A global shutter sensor allows a camera to capture an image by exposing all pixels simultaneously rather than using a rolling shutter mechanism. This means no distortion in high-speed motion capture, a critical feature for professional sports and wildlife photographers. Canon and Sony have already made advancements in this field, with the Sony A9 III being the first consumer camera to feature a global shutter. If Nikon follows suit with the Nikon ZX, it would put them in direct competition with these industry giants. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Nikon ZX rumors is the potential sensor technology. Nikon has traditionally sourced its image sensors from Sony, which recently introduced the global shutter sensor in the A9 III. Given this long-standing relationship, it is entirely plausible that a variant of this sensor, optimized for Nikon's imaging pipeline, could find its way into the Nikon ZX. At the core of the rumored Nikon ZX is a 20.4-megapixel sensor. While this resolution may seem lower than that of other flagship models, its capabilities are reportedly game-changing. The sensor is said to have an astonishing readout speed of just 0.4 milliseconds, making it faster than the blink of an eye. This incredible speed would effectively eliminate rolling shutter distortion, allowing photographers to capture high-speed action with absolute precision. Some might question why Nikon would opt for a 20.4MP sensor when higher-resolution sensors are becoming the norm. The answer lies in speed and efficiency. Lower megapixel counts generally allow for faster processing speeds, reduced noise at higher ISOs, and more efficient data handling, critical factors for professional sports and wildlife photographers who prioritize speed over sheer resolution. The trade-off between megapixel count and speed has been seen before. Nikon's D1H, for instance, prioritized high-speed shooting over resolution, catering to photojournalists who needed to capture action without delay. The rumored Nikon ZX seems to be following a similar philosophy, aiming to deliver blazing fast burst speeds and unmatched precision. While the Nikon ZX is still unconfirmed, sources suggest that Nikon has been testing flagship mirrorless prototypes featuring global shutter technology for some time. These early prototypes, described as box-style test cameras, have reportedly been confined to controlled laboratory settings rather than real-world testing environments. Interestingly, a source indicated that the internal project name for this camera is ZX, though it is not confirmed as the official name. However, considering the natural evolution of Nikon's flagship mirrorless cameras, Z6, Z7, Z8, and Z9, the Nikon ZX naming convention seems logical. If the rumors hold true, the Nikon ZX is being developed as a direct competitor to the Canon EOS R3 and Sony A9 III, two of the most formidable high-speed mirrorless cameras on the market. The estimated release timeline points toward a launch in the fourth quarter of 2026, a window that aligns with Nikon's typical product development cycles. Additionally, reports suggest that over 50 professional Nikon photographers worldwide will receive early pre-production units for real-world testing during the first quarter of 2026. This would follow Nikon's established pattern of sending pre-production models to professionals for feedback before an official launch. If true, we can expect more structured and detailed leaks to emerge in early 2026. Beyond its rumored high-speed burst capabilities, the Nikon ZX is said to introduce another industry-first feature, flash synchronization at speeds up to 1 12,000th of a second. 
This would be a game changer for sports, action, and studio photographers who rely on flash to freeze motion with absolute precision. Imagine capturing a sprinter crossing the finish line with perfect flash illumination, no motion blur, and absolute clarity, that's the kind of capability the Nikon ZX could offer. Sony set a new standard with the A9 III, launching it at a $6,000 price point. Given the steep cost of global shutter technology, Nikon might adopt a similar strategy with the Nikon ZX, positioning it as a highly specialized tool rather than a mainstream offering. However, Nikon has a reputation for delivering exceptional performance at competitive pricing. Both the Z8 and Z9 disrupted the market by offering top-tier features at lower prices than their Canon and Sony counterparts. If Nikon follows the same approach with the Nikon ZX, it could bring global shutter technology to a broader audience than Sony did with the A9 III. Adding another layer to the speculation, previous leaks hinted at a camera called the Z9X, rumored to be a high-speed flagship model featuring a global shutter sensor. Many dismissed this as mere internet speculation, especially since it surfaced around the same time as Sony's A9 III announcement. However, in retrospect, it is entirely possible that the Z9X was an early iteration of what we now know as the Nikon ZX. While the Nikon ZX remains an unconfirmed product, the mounting rumors suggest that Nikon is indeed working on something groundbreaking. Given the Z9's approaching fourth anniversary, it makes sense that the company is preparing its next-generation flagship model. If the ZX name proves accurate, it could represent a significant leap forward for Nikon's mirrorless lineup. Of course, until Nikon makes an official announcement, this remains speculation. But based on Nikon's aggressive recent releases, it is clear that the company is committed to innovation and market leadership. Whether the final product is called the Nikon ZX or something else, one thing is certain, a Nikon mirrorless camera equipped with a global shutter sensor is an eventual certainty. What are your thoughts on the Nikon ZX? Do you think Nikon is ready to challenge Sony and Canon in the global shutter race? More importantly, how much would you be willing to pay for a high-speed flagship Nikon mirrorless camera? Share your opinions in the comments below.